Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Monica. I will be a sixth year special education teacher in Wisconsin and um, even though every single year I tell myself I don't need more stuff, I don't need to be buying more things for my classroom, I slowly accumulate some things over the summer. What I've gotten so far this summer is nothing major. I'm going back into my classroom, well, the school next Monday to be on a hiring panel. So I'm gonna drop this stuff off so it'll stop rolling around in the back of my car. And let's be honest, by this time in the summer, I'm usually in the classroom at least once a week for just a couple hours, um, making decisions, changing bulletin boards, moving things around. I mean, I'm not there for the entire day or anything. It's just nice to get out of the house and uh, away from Walmart for a little bit. And right now this summer, I feel like I've just been at Walmart a lot because I don't have much else to do and I'm just not a good person at playing video games or watching TV all day. I gotta be doing stuff. So let's get into the hall. Um, as I said, special education teacher. So my needs vary a little bit from the typical classroom teachers. Um, also, I just got out of the shower, so my hair's a little wet, so ignore that. Target's having a big sale right now. They probably still are, because I didn't get this that long ago. Um, they're getting rid of all their like summer toys, the toys that they're not carrying into the Christmas season. And so this is like a Play-Doh themed board game. It was only $10. So my students love Play-Doh, so I figured like this is the perfect like welcome back, let's get to know each other again, and what happened over the summer, like let's catch up. Just a good like first week activity. And again, $10, Play-Doh, it was great. Hopefully the Play-Doh isn't fried from in my car because I think I've had it in my car for at least two weeks now. I bought this on Amazon Prime Day and I only bought two things on Amazon Prime Day so I'm very proud of myself. It's a mini crock pot. Um, if you have watched my channel in the past you know I get school lunch every single day and um, I'm a big fan of the school's grilled cheese but there are days where they don't have tomato soup with the grilled cheese and who wants grilled cheese with no tomato soup? So this is a mini crock pot which is perfect for like a single size serving of tomato soup and my classroom will be a little bit bigger this year i should have a little kitchen area so it should be a really nice addition to my lunch choices and my after school um munchy snack time just because i do stay later than contract hours um and most of the time that's my fault because i sit around just doing nothing or i'm like just doing arts and crafts and stuff i enjoy it so i don't mind these are all over instagram right now they're the target um like caddies they've got the big side and the three little spaces a lot of people have done like the vinyl with like the whiteboard marker marker eraser and originally that's really what I was gonna do because when we're using our foundations whiteboards or we're using for math um, there's so much arguing over markers and then they go to put the markers back in the cup and the cup has walked off or somebody's left their eraser laying around and somebody else started nibbling on that eraser so it'll be nice to have the erasers and the markers in a little caddy that can be kind of put out of the way when we're not using them but I also thought about maybe doing um, like table caddies with them too just because with my new classroom it should be a little bit bigger than the older one so like the kids could potentially have one to themselves but I haven't seen any boy colors recently and one of my boys he would not be happy if I gave him purple or just a corally color that is like the new target colors so the pocket chart three dollars I'm hoping to find another one but I haven't my target really doesn't have much of the dollar spot right now so I'm hoping to get another one for our little writing center for our bulletin board that I'm gonna do. I have blue ones right now and it's just not gonna match with the background I have and I love the pocket charts that I do have. I have a bunch that the like plastic part, you know, on a pocket chart is starting to like rip off or break. So just replacing what I got. And then I got these at Kohl's the other day. Um, Kohl's is mostly like a Midwestern brand. So these are the Kohl's Cares characters. So um, they're only $5. And then I believe they do like a donation too within that $5 that you're paying. So I got Daniel Tiger, Peppa Pig, and Pete the Cat. This is now the third Pete the Cat that's in my classroom, but he is in high demand. So I figured I would pick up a spare while I was at it. There's also some of the Mo Williams characters that apparently were like $1.50, but I didn't see any of my Kohl's and that's okay because my students are more familiar with these guys. I was hoping that this would fit in that just like little bag nicely, but I don't know. I think it's gonna happen with this giant thing in here. Maybe I'll put that in first when we're done with this video. Grabbed these at Walmart the other day. They're two dollars. They're the packed party party banners. Um, when we do these two articles or unique learning, and there's like a tropical theme that would be good to pour for that bulletin board. Uh, last school year I had a girl just had a lot of emotions over circles she couldn't get the perfect circle so I picked these up off of Shia and they were only a couple dollars uh, so next time she can freeze her circle and then these are a rarity in the target dollar spot so these are the mini erasers they're a dollar each so this is the sea life this is the sea life and this is the sea life so it's just like whales turtles um, parrot fish that sort of thing um, I have 
three drawers, I think, of the mini erasers in my classroom. I use them for manipulatives. I use them for ABC patterning. I use them for like theme days and just all sorts of things. I got this pen from Target. It's um, a UB pen. So I think it was like $3. So the glitter moves and the unicorn is just kind of squishy, which can be very tempting to bite. So I'll have to make sure that this is kept out of the way um, so students can't get to it. Um, an ice cream scooper. This one was a quarter in the Walmart clearance aisle. We do have ice cream parties on occasion. And the last time that we had ice cream, I was borrowing one from the staff lounge. Um, I have a very nice tote full of assorted things that are just like donations from um, fellow teachers. Uh, it's stuff from the cafeteria that they don't use anymore. So like think of nasty old brown bowls that say mayo on it in Sharpie. Just a whole collection of things, but we don't have an ice cream scooper. So grab one of those for a quarter. And then I have a whole collection of stickers from Shein. I know some people buy their stickers for like birthday bags and rewards off of Amazon and I think you get about a hundred for seven dollars but you can get them off of Shein for like 50 for a dollar or two dollars. So get the ones off Shein. So right now this bag is unicorns and cats um, but I have way more elsewhere. These are iron-on patches. So I've got an assorted array of dinosaurs that I'm going to use for a student's um, matching activity. So that's something I need to get to school and use my um, Velcro for and figure out exactly what I want to do. That's like an August task. And then the last little bag, um, we do the Made For Me Literacy Space Unit about once every other year. Cause again, I have some of my students for like six years. So the last time we did it, we were cutting out stars and I saw these and I said, star stickers. Yes, I'm sold. Sometimes the kids get a little um, like worn out from all the cutting because stars, you know, they have a lot of edges and then I end up cutting stars and every kid wants their star cut once I start cutting stars. So stickers, it's the way to go. And then here's some um, unicorn rainbow stickers. The girls like these and I like them too. Um, they were on sale, I think for like a dollar fifty, so it was a no brainer. And then these, this boxwood is all the rage these days. So it's very expensive. Like a normal, just one of these is like $10, which is insane. But I found this, it fell out of the package. So I have four of these. I got four of them for $15 because it's a four pack. Um, it's still available online. And honestly, I need to get to school to count, to put these up to a bulletin board and count how many I need. So I haven't bought any more except for these four. And if they're sold out by the time I get around to doing that, I'm sure I can do like a small skinny bulletin board or something under the whiteboard. So I'm not too worried about that because I don't really have any like solid plans. And at my friends, that's my uh, haul of my classroom stuff for this summer. And I really don't expect buying more things between now and when I start classroom setup. And obviously when I start classroom setup, I'll be showing you all the things like I have 10 pairs of scissors that I can't find my scissors. Looks like we gotta go buy some scissors. My stuff has been existing in the hallway for practically two months now. So I'm not all that confident that things haven't walked off just because, you know, it is just right there. There's a lot of construction people coming on and going through the school. So we'll see. So thanks for watching this classroom haul and I'll see you guys in my next video. This next video probably will be um, a day in my life and then a sneak peek into the classroom because I said I'll be at school on Monday and I'm hoping for great things but as far as I know all they've done so far is destroy the room. You've seen those pictures if you've watched the previous videos but if you haven't here they all right now. So <laughs>